Hey guys, I'm back in the kitchen this time, but I promise I'm not making tostones this time. But actually, I made this. This is a paper towel holder. It's got a nice little roll on it. But it also has a storage compartment in the top. And what I've done is I made it to the size of, you know, plastic wrap and wax paper, aluminum foil. So you can store up to four of those in there and put the top on it. And in this video, I will show you how you can make this little spring-loaded attachment like this to hold your paper towels and also the little design on the front. Guys, before I get started, I just want to make a quick pitch for donations to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Uh, the audience for my videos and for my website continues to grow and grow and grow in ways that, well, frankly, I just find astonishing. Uh, but I would hope that, uh, you know, maybe you've picked up a tip or two or at the very least been entertained by <laughs> some of my videos. Uh, it, it takes me a fair amount of time and effort and money to uh, actually not just make the videos and run the website, but to make the projects themselves, even though I do try to use as much scrap wood as I can. <laughs> but anyways, what I'd like for you to do is just consider how much my videos are worth to you, and if you could, donate accordingly. Uh, if you are you know, in a financial situation where you can't donate, but I completely understand that, uh, if you're in a situation where you just frankly don't want to donate, I perfectly understand that too. I'll continue to keep offering these videos for free. I'm not going to charge you for them, uh, but I would like for you to consider it. And uh, you can just go to my website, woodworkingformeremortals.com. There's a donate button on there, and you can donate, you know, whatever you like, a dollar, two dollars, uh, you know, up to whatever you want. That would be great. I can assure you that I will appreciate anything that you can donate to help me keep all of this running. Okay, that's my pitch. Let's get on to the paper towel holder. <laughs> I never draw up really detailed plans. Well, rarely. Sometimes I do. But, you know, usually it's enough to just kind of draw out a rough sketch. This is only for myself. And then just figure out what the dimensions need to be using the, well, actual things. In this case, I've got some wax paper and saran wrap. So I just measured, you know, the, the how wide the two of those would be together. And then how tall of a space I would need. And then just took an actual roll of paper towels and measured the diameter and figured out, you know, where the radius would be. So what I've done, and to save you the tedium of watching me just cut boards, which is not the most thrilling thing to watch on video, I have <laughs> already cut my boards uh, to size. Uh, this is, you know, it's a basic box is what it is, except the sides are extended up. And what you're looking at here, well, it's upside down. If you were, well, let me turn it around. See, this is what it would look like as it was hanging on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's your, your paper towel holder, uh, just like that. So now that you're getting dizzy, the uh, this would be the bottom, which would just fit, <laughs> fit in something like that. And with a quick cut on my bandsaw, I curved these uh, two sides. And if you notice, I've also made a mark right here, which is three and one eighth inch up from this, which will be the bottom uh, of the box. And that three and one eighth inch mark is, it represents the radius of the paper towel roll, so it should fit in there nicely. I wanna turn my attention to the roller that's gonna hold the roll of paper towels. And what I've done is, this is a uh, roller off of our toilet paper <laughs> roll. And I wanted to see how this thing works because if you notice, it's got, a, you know, it's spring loaded in there. What they've done here is there's a little uh, brad that's driven in right there. I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, if you pull this apart, here's the inner mechanism and it's got, you know, it's basically a dowel that has a little piece removed from it. And this little edge here is what stops it and that grabs onto that little pin. And of course there's a spring that fits in just like that. So in other words, you push it in there and you've got your spring. So I'm gonna use the same system to make 
just a bigger one. This is a one and a quarter inch dowel and I want to stick a three quarter inch dowel into it. So, but I want to make this hole bigger so I'm going to use a seven eighths inch bit and just see if I can just kind of drill it out. Okay, here's my spring. And what I wanna do is I wanna cut an additional hole down in there just a little bit further, just so this can set a little bit properly. So I've got a smaller bit and I'll just try to find the hole where I was and just go a little bit further down. Okay, so now all that does is just sort of, uh, you know, lets that spring sit in there, it seats it. And so then when I take my other dowel and press it in, you know, it just holds straight. This is my inner dowel, and what I need to do is just carve away a little bit of this inside area, and I'm sure there's a lot of ways you could do this. I have a one inch sanding belt that I think is just gonna work out perfectly. All right, so there we go. Okay, so the idea here is that this will fit in the spring like that. And I've got a little thin dowel here, which I'll glue in and, well, like that. That's the idea. There. <laughs> okay, so it'll catch it when it comes out. Now I'll just drill a one and a half inch hole, shallow hole, <laughs> if my drill doesn't keep slipping. It could do this on the drill press, but I don't know. It seems to be fine here. Okay, so I've gone about halfway through there, and this will fit on this side, like that. And now a three quarter inch hole for the other side. So that should fit in like that. And after a few passes with my miter saw, just, you know, easing my way down, I finally got this to fit in there just like that. You know, it would be nice if, you know, I was thinking maybe some finger joints across here would be nice. Uh, you know, but I, I just glued it up and used Butt joints. <laughs> yeah, they're butt joints. With that straight bit on my router, I just routed out the lip for the lid, and so it'll fit down in just like that. I went online and found some images, some clip art, and I found this one of the rows that I kind of like, and I printed this uh, with kind of high quality settings on my printer so that it put a lot of black ink on. So you want to work pretty quickly once you get this out of your printer while the ink is still wet and then turn it over and kind of line it up where it looks nice. Like that. Okay, now I'm just going to start rubbing and I'm just going to use a pencil to rub this down and I guess you could rub it with anything but I found that by doing this you know, I can make sure that I've covered everything. All right, so now I can peel this off and I get a faint image of the flower. And now the fun part, I've uh, got my Dremel tool and I'm just gonna start carving away. You know, that's a lot of fun to do that and just, you know, carve away the black spots and you don't really have to be exact. Just kind of go around different depths. Uh, hey, it's a flower. It's going to have variations all over it. And now I'm just going to slop on some red acrylic paint into those recessed areas. And I, you don't need to be really uh, careful about <laughs> staying in there because once this is dry, I'm just going to sand over the top and it'll remove all the excess and some green for the leaves. The nice thing about using acrylic paint is that it dries so quickly. So now I can just sand it off. Well, it doesn't take long. I kind of like the natural finish of the pine, so I'm just gonna spray lacquer it.
Well, there you have it. It is completed with several coats of lacquer on it, and you know, I've put it together. The top comes off nicely, and inside, of course, you can store, well, actually, you can store four of these. I only have two of them in there now. So, uh, again, you guys, um, consider donating to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I mean, you know, people donate to PBS all the time, and what do you get on PBS? You get, like, boring stuff, like opera or something. Oh yeah, I went there. <laughs> oh wait, you also get some woodworking shows. But not like this woodworking show. So, uh, woodworkingformeremortals.com, uh, you know, a dollar, two dollars, you know, a thousand dollars. Anything you want to donate would be great. Uh, and you'll get this level of woodworking. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll talk to you later.